and she has everything you can ever find your clothes, your phone, and your mind. Your house is made of wood, deserts still want more cool. Your furniture is awesome, but there's always something more blows up. You can always experience the best while you picnic and rest. My mind can be bombed, not to forget my bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready with your mate Cause this is gonna be the most loving Always love nature Black dogs are more brown leaves than us so enjoy this moment with them and the moment of course Cause then you're gonna miss them of course Plant more trees or see humanity that removed the pitch from the oceans or you'll regret it Cause they're already quite polluted Save the environment that you try to save yourself in the future. Don't believe my is gonna happen now. Cause my magicians are not alive now. If you wanna name and fame Then do what you have to And set the environment In this case it's arriving on YouTube For when you For what you do You write your own destiny Your own God You are your own change and not just anyone Treat the street of life outside your house Out on the street, no food, no place Only half begging for kindness and prayer We can stop extinction of that be more bogus in the extension Not just rich but the poor can also help change the world Let's get started Good morning everyone Happy New Year's I'm Webhav and this is Natural World Today I'm going to be talking about the environment In 2021 Many disastrous things happened. The coronavirus came out and many more. People lost their jobs, hurricanes destroyed houses, and floods flooded the coasts. Saying goodbye to such a 2021, we're going to be welcoming 2022 today. I am going to be showing you everything that I showed you in the last 8 months on my YouTube channel. Why is nature so important to be protected? Can't nature protect itself? It has so much power in itself. It feels like it's stronger than humans. Then why can't it protect itself? Humans is weapons. The amounts. Nature can't cope up with that. So they're reducing the numbers in the original place. So that's why there are more floods. There are more droughts. There are more hurricanes. And many more natural disasters. If we destroy nature by cutting down trees, polluting rivers, then nature will also destroy us by flooding our coasts, by destroying our houses, and many more things that nature can work. But why does this all happen in the first place? 
more than 95% to 98% of the society, basically the world, thinks that nature constitutes of only those simple mountains, the simple deserts, those simple natural disasters and take nature as a con and the trees, the rivers, everything that nature constitutes of. But that's where most of them go wrong. Hey, there are enough trees. And even we get if even if we get like a shortage of them, they're still more growing in the ground right now. So we don't need to worry about them. We can save the world without the help of them using our other materials and cutting down more trees. Never mind. That's a wrong idea, mister and mistress. Oxygen, they take a carbon dioxide, they give us words, and they have so many more purposes. Since 1950, because of the overall growth of the population, there are not enough trees to help us now. We need to plant as many trees as possible. And uh, my calculations say that if we can preserve 25,000 billion trees, billion trees, then we can save our children and maybe even our grandchildren. <music> Climate change has already increased the average temperature of the Earth from about 20 degrees Celsius to 25 to 26 degrees Celsius. That is insane. And we need to reduce this change. We need to get the average temperature back down to the 22, 23 percentage, even if possible. So let's get on to it. All the glaciers in the world are basically melting. Antarctica, the lesser Antarctica, the greater Antarctica, it's all melting. Come on, we need to save. Otherwise, the Average sea level will also rise by three whole meters. That's taller than even me. Actually, that's double my height. And that's insane. That means Mumbai will be completely driven in coast unless we want to raise the land higher as well, which means more cutting of trees. And that will eventually mean lesser water for us to drink and use but more of salty water. Meat consumption is a huge problem in the world. Currently, Impossible Burgers and Beyond Meat Burgers and basically their food is trying to exchange real meat for plant-based meat. But currently, even right now, 40% of the land used to get more meat. If all this land were to be used for plants and trees etc then we could be literally saved on the earth the pigs would be happy all those animals will be happy humans will be happy that they have all the food nutritious food that they require and everything would be perfectly stable in nature we will also be able to save people Approximately three and a half a billion people we could feed more in the world. That means there would be no shortage of food at all for a long time. Those people living the poverty line, those people alone are making two to three times more the pollution compared to the rich people. Every YouTuber with more than a million to few million subscribers is counted as a rich person. And just think, so much is happening around climate change. Climate change is a really, really huge complex process, very difficult to be covered in just a couple of videos. It requires years of research to cut down on the whole problem. And you can then only do one thing, share the knowledge, because only one man alone can do nothing, but just try to share the knowledge and just try at their own personal levels. Industrialization and construction constitute 8% of all the global emissions of climate change 
and CO2 in the world. Though natural cement is an option for artificial cement, but natural cement can only be produced at the rate of just a few finger numbers, like five to 10 a day. So that's why buildings cannot be made by natural cement, but portions of buildings can be. So remember, if you're a person who is trying to make a building, try to use as much of natural cement that, as you can. Now, you understood some of the factors of climate change. Three factors. First are the meat consumers. Second are industrialization and construction. And the third is the melting of Antarctica. And it's already such a huge number, right? So it's a new year and I'll just let you relax with it. Let's implement some changes now. Okay, firstly, switch off your AC. Secondly, just use a fan instead of an AC. Use a cycle when you're going to like a two to three kilometer ride instead of a car. And prefer not using those many aeroplanes unless it's very urgent after you. So use like public transportation. There are buses, buses, etc. Buy some new electric cars. There's a new Tesla coming out. I just told you so many solutions to all of these. It's just a fraction of the solutions as well. Many of them are not even costly. They actually save you money. You see, a fan gives you more faster air than an AC. Though an AC cools down the room, but still a fan is much more cheaper and a fan can be sick. And even eating plant-based meat instead of a real meat burger, then you're actually saving animals. And the plant-based meat is actually, can be much less costlier, much more cheaper. So let's implement these changes right now. Your family, me, my family, the world, every human is a CO2 global emitter. But if we all come, we can change this term to global saver and not global CO2 emitters. Okay, so gather your family, gather your friends and come together and just bring out a new idea and solve a few of your problems of money if you haven't. Climate change as a monster can destroy the world before 2050 and I'm dead serious. Okay, if we implement these changes, then only can we survive. We cannot wait for any more miracles. If you're a parent, do something. And if you're a child, like who I am, then you can just ask your parents and convince them. And if they're not convinced, you can email me at kinginosa35.gmail.com and ask for my help. As a child, you have the advantage. You see, cause children are more energetic than adults are mostly. So as a child, you can just keep asking your parents constantly on a daily basis. And one day, like in a few days, a few weeks, they'll have to implement the change. Welcoming 2022, I just want to say that we can save climate change. We can save the earth. We can save ourselves and the animals, the plants around us. Because we are the problem. Me, you, we are the problem. But we can also be the solution. More and more people watch this movie and understand the importance of nature, understand what climate change is in a long-term perspective. We need some long-term solutions. We're getting started with the show. I want to say, welcome to Natural World.
Oh wait, hi guys! Didn't see y'all were gonna join me to my show. First, let me show you this. Here! Ha, of course it's a prank. Come on. Fine. Now let me show you a real magic now. <coughs> hey -ha! See? Real magic! The show barely makes sense. Tighten your seat belts, get in your jackets, get in cozy, get all your popcorn, and let's get started! <laughs> So, right now I'm going to ask myself three main questions that will help you know more about YouTube, me, and my career. So, let's get started. Question. Why do you want to become a YouTuber only? Why not something else? Now, well, that's a good question. Well, if you know me, you'll know that I don't really like to work for someone else. I like to do things by myself. So YouTube being a freelancer job is much more of a better thing for me. And I get to decide what I do, what topic I choose. And in this case, I choose my favorite topic, nature. You also pick your own niche. You learn just like how you would learn in a job, except it's differently. So next question. What wants to make the audience watch your videos? Their opinions. There are two main factors for that. Firstly, you get to learn. So, you are watching this movie all the way along here because you're learning things, right? You learned about planes, you learned about meat consumption, you learned about glaciers as well, which is topics that not many people cover. But here, you have it all in a compiled half an hour to one hour video. It's not just you learning. Even I learn along the way. I gather tons of information. I gather tons of verified stuff and photos and videos for my videos so that you can have the real juice of learning from them. The second factor is that you get entertained. For example, if you remember my climate change video, I'll put it right here. I was an actor. I became the audience as well as I became the narrator, like the person on the stage. And most of you all loved the last 15 seconds of me acting. Well, you remember the thunder and rain? If you don't, then go check this out. I don't want to spoil it for you. You love the video. And I also love making these videos for you to get entertained. Let's move on to the third question. How much time has it taken you to reach here and how much more are you willing to do? It has taken me about 8 months. I started my YouTube channel 8th May 2021. I can't forget the date. Along these 8 months, I have learned so much. I learned to edit better videos for you. I have learned what kind of videos to make for you. No one except for about 40-50 people in the world know that natural world wasn't my first YouTube channel. Well, but if you still want to go check out my first video, which is on one channel, so it only has a video, I'll put it right here and the link will be in the description. I would like to end this answer by saying that I knew a lot but it wasn't enough and then I learned and you learned and you got entertained I just kept on so I would like to continue this in the future I want to keep making better 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 videos as Mr. Beast has said and for you so you see this plant right here this plant is already pretty tall right but it can grow tall with the power of words. See, the power to grow. If I tell really, really good words every single day, every single day to this plant, then it will grow very fast and it will become bigger than its average height. You can get the full tutorial on this video of mine. You know, I always keep saying that nature is not just trees, 
because it consists of rivers, trees, plants, and so many more things. It consists of mountains, it consists of everything, of landscape. It's a phenomenon, as you can see in this photo right here. A famous person once said a quote that nature can survive without us, without us, remember, without us, but we cannot survive without nature. So that means we need to protect nature. Do you know trees have a lot of advantages, but people mostly focus on the fact that they provide wood. It's not just that. Look at the minor but most effective solutions. See, it gives us water through rain. It gives us soil. It gives us leaves, fruits, and so many other things. There are only a few billion trees left in this world. Let's increase that number more. And if you want to see my full tutorial or video about it on nature's trees, etc., I'll, it's here and in the description down below. You know, desertification results in the degradation of land and fragile ecosystems due to various human man-made activities and climate change. Well, if you want to know more about desertification, I have a full video about it. It's right here and the link is down in the description below. Well, to stop desertification, it doesn't hurt to plant trees. And if you want to plant trees at a large scale, then you should do drone farming. I have a whole video about it as well, and it'll be in the description down below. Drone farming has a lot of advantages. It saves time, it chooses the correct areas to plant, and it properly plants them, and it allows nature to do its work on its own without human interference. Even Bill Gates once said, drones overall will be more helpful than the society, society realizes. The quote is up here. Uh, you know, we could even use solar energy and wind power through windmills and hydropower to charge these drones. And if that's possible, then we can simply save the environment, right? Green technology helps us so much. And we even have Tesla cars, Tesla car X, we have Elon Musk, people like these who are trying to save the environment through green technology. Even if drone farming is working, there are still planes in the air and they pollute a lot of air and that causes CO2 footprint, right? And that can be removed. There is the technology for that. We people call it the direct carbon capture. I have a whole video about it. I'll link it right here in the description. Even though there are only 15 machines worldwide, it does the work of 40 million trees per machine. So I think that's already over 600 million trees worth of work being done. We do not have an Earth X, Earth B, Earth 2, or even Nature 2, Nature X, or anything like that. We have only one nature and only one earth and we need to protect them. So let's reduce this climate change while we can because if we don't do it by 2050, then we will be in grave danger. Humanity will go extinct completely.
Good morning everyone, I'm Vebha and this is Natural World. Today I have something special in store for you. Up to date you might be always like thinking, pick up like, oh I got a new WhatsApp message or oh someone just joined Facebook from my contacts. Oh wait, there's a new guy on Insta and Twitter as well. Let me check him out. You might be thinking like this. But have you ever thought of those apps that you are using? Have you ever thought of those Google and all those other websites that you're using? And that is exactly what a surprise for you is today. We are launching a brand new app on iOS and Android being available worldwide. It can be found on the Play Store and on the App Store. Remember to download the app and have fun. It has a lot of features that we have added to it and we will keep adding more as time passes by. Especially for our audience and our viewers, we have designed the app like Instagram and Twitter. Where in Insta and Twitter you can put posts, here also you can put posts, you can add captions, description, titles and be as creative as you want with your posts. There's no tracking or any stopping you from doing this. You will be given the authority of viewing the posts that I have made specially for you, my audience. On our YouTube channel, every video that has been uploaded, some information or the other from it has been imported into our app. And we'll keep updating so that our viewers can know more about nature and the environment at the same time on our application and on our YouTube channel. The best part of this application is that there is a calculator that actually calculates your CO2 emissions. For example, I could have 960 tons of uh, global emissions or I could have 100 tons only a day. It depends. It will vary on what you use and what you not. You will, might also be given alternatives for those things that you're using. For example, if you're using an AC, you could be given an alternative of a fan. If you're using a car, then you could have been given the alternative of a bicycle if you have one, or if it's a short distance. If you're using like a plane, then there might not be an alternative. I have even created a personal blog where I give my own views and overviews and my inputs. You can get to know me more about me and more about what I think about the environment and how to solve the problems. And you can also contact me via all the options given to you in that blog part. It is a completely free app on the Play Store and the App Store. Kids, parents, adults, whoever it is, it is free to all of them. Any kid above one year old is allowed to use this application even if they have their own phone or their mom's phone or their dad's phone. If you have any queries, contact us at kinguniversal35 at gmail.com and you can also check out our website at sites.google.com slash view slash nature is the word. Our mode is linked down below in the description and you can always buy it at cheap prices. We keep try to keep our prices down as much as possible for our customers. You better watch out for my videos. Sunday 12 p.m. most of the days. Okay? I'll see you in my next movie. Bye!